Hey guys, my name is Simpsy and welcome back to some more FIFA 15. We are playing as Manchester United. This is season 8, episode 4. In today's episode, we have a home match. Oh, sorry. Uh, Liverpool has a home match. We're playing away at Anfield. We're going to verse the Scousers. It's going to be a cracker. Later on in the episode, we have a home match at Old Trafford against the Gunners. We are playing Arsenal. And halfway through this episode, we have the squad report. So when that happens, you're most welcome to pause and, and go through and have a look. Guys, the main thing I need to recap from the last episode is we finally signed Radamel Falcao's regen. Uh, he did cost 68 million, which is a lot for a 21 year old who's worth, well, he was an 82 year overall. For some reason, he went down to 18. He's only worth 15 million. But at this point in time, um, I don't think losing those funds is going to negatively affect the, uh, the campaign overly. We brought so many young players in from last year, um, and we also have uh, signed, obviously, Luis Suarez, PK and uh, Mina on pre-contracts. And we also signed um, this German goalkeeper from Borussia Mönchengladbach, who was 90 overall. I think his name was Janus. Fuck knows why I signed him, just to make a profit at the end of the season. <laughs> that's what, basically, that's how I've made all my money in this career mode, is pre-contracts and uh, selling players for ridiculous prices to other clubs and then bringing them back. But Adnan Janazai on the ball, can he make it 2-1 against Liverpool? It was a really nice piece of play to linking up there with the overhead kick. We're currently 1-0 up against Liverpool, and that's how the match ended Um Six, so, six shots, six on target for me. So we only had a limited number of chances. They only had two shots, zero on target. They played a lot better in the last couple of episodes. It was whatever the match was against Liverpool at Old Trafford um, when Sterling and Lallana in the piss-pouring rain, they ended up scoring a uh, goal each, and they scored some absolute crackers. Adnan's gone up a plus one. Um, Kurt Zuma has gone up a plus two. He's gone up a plus five since we've signed him. Courtois has gone up a plus one. Um, if he keeps on going up, he was kind of stunted for a little bit. Uh, but uh, Luis Quintero has obviously gone up a stat now. He's only gone a minus one down. Um, obviously, he did play. He's been playing exceptionally well for Blackburn. Um, he's only scored one goal for me so far. I, I do believe one or two. Um, but um, yeah, you're most welcome to pause and have a look at the um, the stats and uh, whatnot. So. This is the current side. Now, Jones has picked up a injury, so we're going to have to uh, replace him. Uh, we're going to bring on uh, Luke Shaw, and we're going to switch it up. We're going to put Flanagan on that right-back side, and then Luke Shaw on the left. He did have a short-term loan at Arsenal. But, guys, I want to know in the comment section down below, who do you think is going to win the Premier League? Who do you think is going to win the Champions League? Who do, wins, who do you think is going to win Player of the Season? Who's going to get the top goals? Who's going to make Team of the Season? Ronaldo is currently first in the top goal scorers of the Premier League, followed by Danny Welbeck, the former United boy, and Edison Cavani. I would have thought Romelu Lukaku would have been up there instead of Edison, but uh, we're currently versing Arsenal. They're currently sitting in eighth uh, place in the league. It's going to be a cracker. But guys, if you still are enjoying this Manchester United career mode, remember to leave a like. I'd really much appreciate it. I do put a lot of effort into these videos, and a simple like really does go a long way in uh, pushing my channel out there, and it helps me a bunch. If you aren't enjoying the career mode and don't want to leave a like and don't want to subscribe, um, let me know what else you'd like me to do. How can I improve myself as a YouTuber if I don't take on constructive feedback and criticism? Let me know in the comments below. Right, we have a free kick here. Well, Arsenal have a free kick here. Pretty... Oh, not too far. It was pretty dangerous uh, position. Luckily for me, it manages to hit the... Uh, Hit the bar, but Robert Lewandowski on the ball, scoring goal in the last match. He uh, does a roulette, trying to be a little bit fancy, but the big, solid Mertesacker manages to stick him in his path. And I do know Arsenal fans love a good old Mertesacker, but uh, Robert manages to prevail eventually, just before half-time. That's going to give us a big morale boost going into the second half going back into the dressing room, and hopefully this will uh, open up the match a little bit later. But Cristiano Ronaldo manages to find Eden Hazard there, breaking away. He tries to hit it on the, um, the I don't know, it was kind of like a drop punt. Uh, it's an AFL thing, if you know what I mean. But um, nevertheless, Balotelli on the ball trying to create something. Yeah, I'm surprised Danny Welbeck is up there, but uh, Balotelli trying to create some space. 
He gets his shot off at Manuel Neuer, but didn't amount to anything. Ronaldo on the ball, blistering pass. Mertesacker with the injury, but the shot went uh, really quite wide. But Mario Balotelli on the ball, trying to create something. And, um, wow. <laughs> Arsenal nearly bring it back with a sensational goal hitting the, uh, the corner of the bar. But, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to go out and have a fantastic rest of your day, guys. Goodbye.